Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. All right, today's episode we are going to get into making lacquer and Yurushi and all of those good things. All right, I get this creosote oil now as a byproduct, and it has some interesting properties. I wonder what I can do with it. The sticky resin I get from trees, I certainly can crush down to some Arushi, which might be useful to make lacquer. To do that, I need a cauldron placed on top of an open drain. Right click to toggle, which itself is on top of some fire or other heat source. One bucket of water and four ground Arushi eventually ends up making a bucket of Arushi. With lacquer wood, I can then make treated wood, which is certainly weatherproof. All right. So we need ground arushi, iron cauldron, iron cauldron lid, and a scoria drain. Now I've already made the iron cauldron and the lid, and also made some arushi ahead of time. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some dream wood, craft it into dream planks, and then go like this. Those of you who remember the tree tap from industrial craft will remember that that's how it's made. All right, with this, it's no particular type of tree. You just right click and you just hold down the right mouse button and you're good to go. Now you will automatically grab the next tree tap in your hand, so you can just do this till you run out of tree taps. And it actually doesn't take that long to collect quite a bit. All right, so there we go. Collect all this, then we can head downstairs. All right, now the next step is going to be taking this, putting it on the crushing table. I moved my crushing table and forgot where it was. All right, you're gonna crush it down like this. All right, and you're gonna get ground arushi. All right, you can also take this and throw it into a furnace and it will smelt it down into rubber, which we're gonna need for making RF. All right, so let's go upstairs and find an area. I think I'm gonna do it right here since it's near the um, creosote oil tank. Now, I did have someone leave a comment that said about not using these tanks because you can't bucket out of them. You actually can. You have to shift right click and you can pull out of them. All right, I ran into that at first and thought you couldn't and then I saw something online where somebody said you had to shift click it and I was like, oh, okay, that works. So hopefully that helps all of you out. Now I did make some tanks from, oh, what is the mod? Thermal expansion, I believe. All right, and then what I did was I enchanted them. And I need to remember to show enchanting one of these days because it is a little bit different. In fact, let's see, where's my paper? Paper, there we go. All right, and let's run over here and grab some leather. I'll actually just show the enchanting really quick. All right, here we go, run back over here. I really wanna get a speed totem, that would be so nice. All right, so we need a crafting station. Put that here, let's go ahead and make some books. All right just like this. Now, with enchanting, it is a little bit different. Let's see, I need this so that I can grab some levels out of it. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click with lapis and it's gonna put three in there and then you right click with your item or book or whatever you wanna enchant. All right, now when you look at this, you can see it says cancel, enchant, or the arrow. You wanna right click on the arrow and it'll flip the page. Now this, is a level 30 enchant. You have to have at least 30 levels. It's gonna take three and you can right click on that. And then it's gonna make this little noise and the particles and stuff like that. And then it'll pop off like that and you're good to go. And we just got sharpshooter three. I'm not sure what that works with. All right, so that's enchanting. I thought I'd mention that. All right, so let's go ahead and break this up. All right, so this is gonna be the setup. We should actually make the drain first. You're gonna need one scoria, all right? 
iron slats, and a saw. Hmm. Really? What am I doing wrong? Oh, smooth scoria stone. Okay, my bad. There we go. And we get the scoria drain. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these down here. You don't have to do this part. I just want it to look nice. I'm going to put my magma block under here. And then I'm going to put my scoria drain on the top half. Just like this. And if you right click it, it will open or close it. So we want it open so it's a heat source. All right, and I forgot to collect this quest because it should all be done. I did the lacquered planks and the treated wood planks ahead of time. All right, so you're gonna shift right click your cauldron to put it down here. All right, now you're gonna use tanks. Let's see, I need another tank because I picked up that creosote oil before I was supposed to. Let's just grab another bucket. All right, and I really don't want to leave these tanks next to each other. All right, so what you are going to do is you're going to grab a bucket and you're going to fill this. All right, so you're going to want 16 Arushi in order to make four buckets of Arushi. All right, now I threw that in here. If you have a cauldron ladle, which originally you're going to make the bone one because you can't make the lacquered one until you have the lacquer sticks. All right, so what you're going to do is, I'm trying to remember all the controls for this. It's really hard. Left click with the ladle will show you the current heat level. Wow, that's actually way higher than just sticking it directly on there. Hmm, interesting. All right, ground Arushi 16, four buckets of water. Current heat level is 1.49. And then this will take a while and then eventually make Arushi. All right, so then you can take the Arushi and grab a bucket of that. All right, let me hop down here because I forgot to grab planks. All right, run back up here. I apologize. I thought I had everything for the episode, and apparently I didn't. All right, so then you can take this, and you can actually make lacquered planks. Now, the other way you can do it is once this turns into a rushi, you throw your planks in there, and then you wait even longer. I found that it's quicker to just bucket the rushi and then use it to make them that way. All right, then we can take the lacquered planks put them like that and put creosote oil in the center and you get treated wood planks all right so that covers that let's see claim even though I don't need that all right I am an engineer my designs are getting more and more complicated I need a workbench where I can work on and not get overwhelmed by the ideas I have all right so we need an engineers workbench so let's see, workbench. All right, it's right here. Treated wood. Let's try something. Okay, that's how you get treated sticks. All right, we need a crafting table. And was that it? Nope, we need these. All right, grab that, clear that, do this, and here we go. Engineer's workbench. All right, oops, wrong button. Okay, we get engineer's blueprint. Ooh, console commands, this is cool. All right. Oops, inventory, there we go. Let's just put it down here for a minute. And let's see, crafting component, we put this in here. Okay, we can now make circuit boards, we can make vacuum tubes, we can make steel mechanical components and iron mechanical components. The circuit boards are what I need. All right. We're going to need vacuum tubes. We're going to need redstone chipsets, which these I can't even make yet. These are from Buildcraft. All right, these I can make. I can make the vacuum tubes. The reason I need these things is because they are used 
you might look and go, oh, that's, you know, six different uses, that's not much. Well, you use those to make sturdy casings, which you use to make all the forestry machines. You also use them in the carpenter to make these different circuit boards. All right, and we're going to need acid. Wow. Okay, so yeah, now I can actually make the Gendistry Hives, I think. So that is cool. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, here we go, another power source. I discovered even another power source. I wonder what I can do with it. Unfortunately, it is not compatible with the other power sources. All right, so Sterling Engine. Hmm, did I make any of these before? Let's go drop down here. I was thinking I had made some. All right, so let's look at the recipe for that. All right, yeah, so we're gonna need these. Two iron plates and a copper ingot. So let's just go iron plates, copper ingot. Let's get rid of bunch of this lacquered wood and things. All right, the ladle. Oh yeah, we might want that so I can explain stuff as we go along. All right, let's throw this in here and this in here and that there and there. All right. So the other thing I forgot to explain, the iron cauldron lid. If you right click on the top with the lid, it will put it on and then you can mine the block and keep the liquids that are inside it and the items. All right, so let's see. I've never actually used the engineer's workbench before. I'm thinking you just go like this. There we go. All right, so we have those. What else did we need? Stone gears, cobblestone. Yeah, these things are like dirt cheap to make. All right. Cobblestone. Here we go gears like this, boom, and then the Sterling engines, four of those, thank you very much. All right, the wooden kinesis pipe, we should be able to, wooden transport pipe, uh, let's see, do I have redstone up here? Hopefully I do. And I probably should check the recipe because it may have changed, let's just try it. Ooh, I was right. All right, what was the last one? Cobblestone. So let's see. The cobblestone transport pipe is just cobblestone stone rods. Yeah, we can do that. All right, just like this and this. One of these. Oops, put that there. And we got that. All right. Done. Ooh. I'm a fire in my laser. Cobalt ore and ardite ore. Haha. <laughs> this new power source has some interesting capabilities. I found a way to create lasers, which allow me to create chipsets and faster auto crafting. I need some rare materials from the deepest depths of this planet, though. I need a proper laser room for this setup as well. All right, so the first thing, we need cobalt ore, and we need ardite ore. Already got those. Now these, you will find, if you go down to the core, go down like all the way to bedrock and just vein mine everything out of the way. You'll probably get a lot of lava, but you can also find a lot of cobalt and ardite. All right, we need five lasers, one assembly table, and an advanced crafting table. Ooh, we're going to need 64 laboratory blocks. Interesting. Yeah, so we're not going to get to that one, though I do want to get that because I need this to make the... Uh, let's see, what was it? All right, in order to make these circuit boards, all right, we need the redstone chipsets, which we need the lasers for that. So it is gated. All right, let's see. I think, yeah, we learned a lot today. 
So we got all the lacquer done, built some engines. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer, signing off.